Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. I'm your Trin Tai and I'm your girl Tai Mars. Today's video is going to be a demo and a review on the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm for Sensitive Skin. Now, this product was basically put on to us by Nikki's Tutorials, an acclaimed, fabulous YouTube guru and makeup artist. She basically said that she uses this as a primer under her foundation and for any good glam look prime 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 that's always the first start of any good look so we'll be proving if this is a hoax or just a trend that everybody's doing just to waste our time if you like to learn more about this product and see a demo which I have the product under this good drugstore look that you can see in my previous video just keep watching just like any tutorial I start off with an extra clean base so my skin has been washed and toned and I follow up by using my winter moisturizer that I use every season Jergens ultra healing for extra dry skin and I use that to soothe in my face. I have flaky skin during winter. So I moisturize that into my face really, really good. And I let it sit for two to five minutes before I use my new primer. So it's time to use our quote unquote primer, our Nivea Men Shave Balm. So I use about a quarter size amount and I rub it into my hands and then I work it into my skin. I make sure I get into all the sections, my T-zones, my under eyes. I make sure every part has a good amount and I let that sit. Then after a good two to five minutes, we're done and ready for our makeup application. So, I didn't want to bring this to you guys way too quickly because I wanted to test this product out. Now me, I have combination oily skin, I've said that before, so I can't be playing with no extra credit products that I know dang well I don't need on my skin to break me out. No. So, I use this for the, I've been using this in my everyday makeup routine for the last two weeks. And I have to say, if men use this after shaving and it keeps their skin soft, honey, I am an infant. I have to say my skin has been really, really soft lately. And because of being winter, my skin has been really, really flaky, like really dry, flaky. Not so much red or itchy, but just weird. It always does this during this time of the year. And using this with my makeup application in the mornings has been pretty good and I mean considering the fact that my looks has been lasting throughout the whole day and that's not taken aback from my Maybelline baby skin primer or even my benefits poor professionals I love those two primers but this only being I believe seven dollars at CVS or Steal this from your man I mean come on you really can't beat it it's a fraction of the cost for the poor professionals and I mean it's like a dollar cheaper than the Maybelline so I'm pleasantly surprised that I haven't broke out with it it's really really good and everything she said is definitely true when you put it on it's quite tacky like you feel like it's going into your pores and sealing that like when you put on everything it's like a mask on a mask already because everybody says that makeup is a mask but you really can't beat this like just to try it 
it's affordable. I mean, it's not like she's telling you to get $20 or something. It's only like $7, maybe 8 depending on where you're buying it from. I'll put down sites below in the description bar to any other place that you can buy it online as well. The only con I have to say about this is the smell. Okay. When you first put it on it smells like a really fine handsome man that's not what we want to smell like ladies unless you want to do you boo boo i have to say the smell does fade um during your makeup application i don't know how it does that i guess it's really soaking into your pores and it doesn't really smell afterwards I've had my friends come up on me and smell me. It's been really weird. I've been having people smell me for like the last two weeks. Like, do you smell anything? They'd be like, oh, I just smell your perfume or any body spray you're wearing, which I always wear love spell. So I'd be like, all I smell is love spell from Victoria's Secrets. So, I mean, this is pretty good, guys. The only thing is, ladies, if you're married or if you're living with your man and he sees this, no, you're not cheating, so let him know that. Secondly, no, you wasn't a man before. Not to say that isn't fabulous, but this is yours, so maybe you two might have to fight over the last drop, because this is actually good, and shout out to Nikki Tutorials. I would have never thought to use a nail shaving balm on my face for makeup and it's so funny with makeup you can use so many things to replace or enhance your looks and it can be from homemade products to things as unconventional as male skincare who knew and the reason why this is really good and holds your makeup and it's lasts me throughout the whole day is because of one of the ingredients glycerin glycerin is really 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 good for the skin it helps for smoothing and I mean it helps for smoothing um, along fine lines and softens the skin it helps for smoothing and fine lines and it helps to smoothen the skin so I believe using makeup over it is like going over a shield so that barrier that primer is supposed to be under your foundation or any makeup that you apply to your skin it really does the job and I have to give it a 4 out of 5. And the only reason I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 is because of the smell. The first initial smell is very weird. But, I mean, you'll get over it. And after a couple of times using it, so I don't even notice it anymore. Like, okay, I'm lying. <laughs> but, I mean, as many times you use it, you just get accustomed to it. You'll be like, maybe I just smell a little handsome today. You know, a little got my smack on you know <laughs> but I really like this product and I will continue to use it in all of my makeup applications maybe even on my clients but I might have to tell them first because if you refer this to anyone make sure you tell them that the Neutrogena men shave balm for sensitive skin is good for sensitive girls is probably even good for the normal skin girls who don't have any problems but just make sure make sure guys tell them about the smell brace yourself it's not overbearing but it is significantly manly smelling like you automatically know a dude wears this yeah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and the demo and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see anything else on my page, leave it in the comments below and subscribe to see more videos of me and any other review or tutorial that I have coming up. And until next time, later lovey. Details on any products will be in the description box below. Thanks for watching.